It's a fast-paced game. It offers some pretty long-lasting lessons for students connected to a Dallas middle school. If you've never heard of futsal, our Steve Pickett tonight about to show you how sixth graders turn the game into an opportunity of firsts for many of them. It's like soccer. The ball is smaller. Azel Leha has the footwork, even without the footwear. Come on! The 11-year-old from Dallas's Stockard Middle School Help, really? oh. plays on a team that didn't exist a month ago. Drop, drop, drop. Let's go again. Playing a game unknown to most at his school. I didn't know it was futsal. I just called it soccer, indoor soccer. Futsal is soccer played on a basketball court at the pace of a hockey match. And the marquee at Stockard tells the story. Hail Mary, Hail Mary. The sixth graders here are headed to Florida for the National Scholastic Futsal Championship in July. A surprise reward for a program geared just to keep these kids from the Southwest Oak Cliff School active and optimistic. I feel like we're one of the best middle schools in the heart of Oak Cliff. So it's important for, um, for us to get good exposure. All right, you guys sure you know what you're doing? Can you do this? All right. Now, it looks easy, right? But these guys actually know what they're doing. But it's really focused about wellness and health. And yes, they want to win, but it's bigger than that. Stock it real loud. Let them know we're here. One, One two, two, three, three Stocker! Oak Cliff Stocker is a futsal finalist. And the winning goal may simply come from kids willing to take a shot. Finish. Finish. In Dallas, shot. Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Pick a guest school by a sixth grader. I love it. Just throwing that out. <laughs> Stockard boys, by the way, won a weekend tournament and that moves them to the Florida Nationals that Steve just talked about. There'll be teams from Brazil and some other U.S. cities that will compete as well.